Hey guys, happy Friday. Um, so tonight uh, we are going to make pizza. Or well, I'm gonna make pizza. Um, actually Hershey will probably come in and help me. He usually helps me when I when we make pizza. Um, but happy Friday. It seems like it was a really, really long week. I'm actually gonna close this. Um, the fan is just really loud. Um, hey, Wayne happy Friday. Uh, yeah, so gonna make pizza. I stopped and um, before I came home and went to the grocery store, um, it's really cool because so we have Winco, which I don't know if you guys have it where you are. Uh oh! <laughs> the fan fell down out of the window. Hang on. Hi guys! Okay. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Uh, anyway, sorry, the fan fell out of the window, so that's what made the big crash. But we have a grocery store called Winco, and so I stopped there on my way home. And because they have um, ready-made pizza dough that you can, you know, like toss and mold and everything. And I, I've probably done a video with this before. Um, but so we're going to make pizza. We're going to do pepperoni and sausage. I got these from the garden today, um, so I'm going to cut these up, and uh, these will be tossed on there as well. Ooh, nice and peppery. Um, so, I'm going to pull the centers out. She did. Look, this is what That's silly. Um, but yeah, how was your guys' week? I felt like mine was really long and really exhausting. Um, I can't put my finger on it completely why, but it was just long, I was tired. Also, Zeta's nap schedule has been a little wonky. So she's been taking naps late, and then uh, she's up late and doesn't go to bed till late. So that has thrown me off too. Um, I don't know if you guys can see okay there we go um, so I'm just cutting up the pepper so we're gonna do pepperoni and sausage and throw some peppers and maybe some banana peppers and I think I have a can of olives the girls like olives and pepperoni on their pizzas my eyes are burning from that oil stuff that you put in my hair it is? Yeah, my eyes are burning. Oh, because I put tea tree oil in your hair. Seriously? Yeah, it is good for you. My eyes hurt now. Well, don't let the water go in your eyes. And why are you taking your hair out right now? No idea. You need any helpage? Yeah, probably. Do you want to cut the peppers? Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. These are from the garden. Yeah. Yeah, take those. You've already uh, washed the other one? Yeah, I mean, there's some spots you need to cut off, but, you know. All right, so, yeah, so the cool thing with Winco is they package everything. So, seem long, but it's hard to believe we're about to be in October. I know, I know, it's crazy. Hey, Jeremy, how's it going? Happy Friday to you, too. Yeah, like, October happens Monday, I think. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so they prepackage the sauce which is cool. Um, and then there's the little crumbly sausage, which this is like our favorite kind of sausage for pizza. Sometimes I cook up like the breakfast kind, you know, like in the roll. Um, but I like that you can get this at the store. And then pepperoni, so. Um, make sure I oh. save the, uh, the seeds. Okay, sorry, the phone always gets knocked down. My little tripod, it tries. Uh, okay, um, so I'm going to wipe my counter off. 
blade is sharp. What do you think you're looking at? Uh, it's super sharp. It's the ceramic blades. Those are my new knives. I know. Okay. Uh, and then I'll get my cornmeal. And put some cornmeal down. I've got my oven heated to 400. I've got my pans. I think you guys have seen my pizza pans before. So these are both um, Pampered Chef. Little known fact, if you didn't know, I used to be a peppered, peppered. <laughs> I used to be a Pampered Chef consultant for a very brief time in history. I mostly did it just so I could get the starter kit so I could have the stuff. Um, I did a couple of parties for friends and that's about it. I just wasn't very good at like selling myself. Not like selling myself, but you know. <laughs> so this is awesome. It smells very yeasty. See? Yeah, it does. Oh, somebody had a Facebook post and it was a meme and it was the sun uh, bread rises in the yeast and sets in the waste. <laughs> I thought that was cute. That's pretty true. <laughs> so, yeah, this is really cool because I just get to manipulate the dough. And, yeah. So, um, yeah, I can't believe, like, I seriously don't know. I know it's like the old person thing to say, like, I don't know where the year is going. <laughs> um, and they say it just like that. But, uh, yeah, I can't believe we're already in October. Like, it just seems like we should be celebrating, like, maybe Memorial Day. But we're not. Oh, the fan fell down out of the window. Oh, okay. So I just turned it off. So I don't know how to throw pizza but this is fun all right so save a lot of seeds here i have seeds over here too cool the sailor went to see 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 to see what she could see 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 and all that she could see 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 was the bottom of the deep blue see 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 the girls have that stuck in my head it's funny how many versions of that exist I know. And how it just keeps going and going and going. It's so awesome. Oh, or what about the, there's a hole, there's a hole in the bottom of the sea. Oh, that's the one I'm thinking of. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a hole, there's a hole. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. Uh, there's a log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. Want to put this in this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that one goes on and on and on and on. Uh-oh. Uh yeah, drop one. I got a hole. I don't know what the girls are doing in the bathroom, yeah, but no idea. It keeps them occupied. I think they're up to no good. As long as they don't start making trouble in my neighborhood. Ooh, if you guys want a good documentary to watch, if you're looking for a Netflix recommendation, um, definitely check out Quincy. We watched that last night. That was awesome. And it was amazing. Like you didn't. It's crazy all of the lives that he has touched and helped like make which um, is pretty much everyone yeah in the music industry <laughs> yeah music and movies yeah but it's just crazy and he's still going 85 years old do you have uh yeah you do what red, red sauce yeah And they're editing at the same time. What are you doing? Video. Oh. You know, I still have videos on my phone. Yeah. That need to come off. Yeah, I gotta get to I have a lot of good content on my phone. <laughs> my nose. I think it's allergies. It's like. been, the allergies have been really bad. So the nice thing is with these little like pizza pans is you don't have to grease it or anything like that and it won't stick. It really won't burn either. 
Um, oh, I guess I'll move this so you guys can see. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. <laughs> yes, it's not delivery, it's Nelly No. <laughs> so I'm somewhat looking forward to a pretty low key weekend. Seems like we've been busy. Um, and just looking to relax and maybe get some stuff done around the house. Um, we probably won't paint. We originally thought we might paint this weekend, but I'm not really feeling it. We still haven't quite settled on a color yet. Um, so there's that. Okay, this one keeps trying to get a hole right here. Try not to get it too thick in the middle either, because okay. So that is nice and covered in there. I'm gonna. Well, I'll let. Yeah, I'll go ahead and build this one. They also have like pre-made pizzas similar to like Papa Murphy's that you can just take and bake at home. But I kind of like, I like making pizza. I like making our pizza. Um, so just putting the pizza sauce on. All right. That's probably enough sauce. Oh, hey, are you coming back in here? Okay. All right, so. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm going to Can you look to see on the gray shelf if there is a can of olives? Yeah. Please. You all right? Yep. BrawlyCon, we haven't seen you in a long time. Good to see you. Better late than never. Boom. Want me to open these? Ooh, yes. If anybody is a pizza like maker, I'm probably screwing this up royally, but you know. Mm, it'll taste great. It usually always does. Yeah. Oh, and then also look for the banana peppers in the refrigerator. Please. Oh, also, wanted to show this little puppy off. We... What? I didn't even know that you had that. I showed it to you outside. I said, look, you're like, oh, I nice. I saw the tomatoes. No. Oh. oh. oh yeah, no. I just saw the tomatoes. I thought it was uh, that that you were referring to. <laughs> no, it's a strawberry. We got a strawberry. So we have a fall harvest. We have some uh, fall strawberries that are growing. Well, with the weather the way that it is, it's like set, got to 73 today. I know. So, it's crazy. It's like warm, early summer. Or, or what they summer. call like a harvest summer. Yeah. 
These are pepperoncinis. I doubt you'd want those. No? We add them? I don't. Stretchy, stretchy. I don't. This one's a little harder. Yeah, it still needs to stretch a long ways. We only got up to 58 today, but it'll be 80 tomorrow. Where yeah. Huh? Uh, Colorado Springs. Oh, way gook and way. Okay, so I figured you would appreciate this. So after, oh, bless goodness, you, sorry. after my, here, let me aim it up a little bit. Bless you. Oh, I didn't take it. Okay, so after my live stream last time, you know, I was talking about the jewelry store that I went to Man in Manito Springs and the owner, um, his name was Robert Talltree. And that's just something that has stuck with me. Well, when I got home that night, I was like, you know what? I'm going to Google this. And I Googled him. And he did, in fact, own a jewelry place in Manitou Springs. And he is like an activist and like um, kind of like a life coach or something. But he and his wife. And so he is still doing his thing. But... Um, he owned a jewelry store in Manitou Springs for like 18 years. He doesn't own it anymore, but he, he's like a famous, uh, famous jeweler, and a lot of his stuff has been on display in various museums. So I thought that was really, really cool and really fascinating. Herschel didn't think it was that cool, but I thought it was cool. The fact that like, here's a name that stuck with me from when I was probably like, I don't know, nine or 10 years old. And I think I was really, um, I guess, inspired or whatever because um, growing up in Indiana, like, I didn't see any Native Americans. And this guy was a Native American, and it was just, it was just really cool, and it made an impact for me. Um, but, yeah, so that was his jewelry store. It's not open anymore. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I have the jewelry anymore that I got there but I'm pretty sure it was a little like cuff bracelet silver bracelet with turquoise that I had bought at that store um, but I thought that was I thought that was cool um, and then I did look up the park ranger that I had met when I was in the Rocky Mountain uh, National Park and he has since deceased but I basically found his information so it's just fascinating that was in the day before Google and yeah so I don't know it was pretty cool okay so I've got the other one Pad it out and gonna splash some sauce on and then probably some more sauce on this one too. The nice thing about like buying it like this when it's portioned out is it's just enough to make the pizza that I'm gonna make and then I don't end up with like a random jar or random can of sauce. Um, because I don't always use it and then it goes bad. So I do like it this way. Um, but yeah, we're probably going to watch something. Oh, you know what? I think we might watch. I want to watch with the girls. I told them not to watch it without me. I want to watch A Wrinkle in Time. Um, the new one with uh, Oprah. So I want to watch that. So maybe we'll watch that tonight as a family movie. But I'm always looking for other recommendations of shows, movies, things like that. He may be at the marathon tomorrow. There are more activists downtown in the area where the marathon starts. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, well... I don't know. That was just, yeah. I thought it was really cool. 
Okay, so we're going to put Open up the pepperoni. Ooh, open up the sausage. Let me get the Parmesan cheese. Mm. Put some Parmesan cheese down. little cheese down. Hey Misty, how's it going? Happy Friday. Yeah, you put the I put down. a little bit of cheese down. Yeah, you put cheese and uh, the little, yeah, that little peppery stuff or whatever that is. Because I don't want too much cheese because then the toppings fall right, off. Right, right. So. Yeah, I normally put that, the, that parmesan and then I put the toppings and then I put that on top. Well, I'm just going to put a little bit. Yeah. A dusting. Uh-uh. There's not enough. Just, Herschel? Just a little bit. Herschel? I just want a little bit. There's not enough. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> and somebody says that you're controlling. <laughs> I know. I'm like, what? There, I think they're a troll, obviously. Yeah, we got comments on one of the last we videos. Few, we have a few trolls. I think it's the same person. And, and I'm like, if you knew who, how she is, you would somebody never was say saying that. that like, what a shame it is that I'm in a relationship with such a controlling man. <laughs> and I laughed. Like, really? <laughs> oh, look! It's like the butt of the pepperoni. <laughs> like, <laughs> Zoe did like, this look. On her own. Zoe did this <laughs> on her own. That's pretty good. It's the good butt job. of the pepperoni. Oh, look, that's look, actually look really good. Nice. So the camera. Like, but no, I think that was probably a bigoted troll. And yeah, and it was just it was like, you know, it's, it's a shame that... They he, watch the live stream, but they don't comment. That he's so controlling. And then after the video is done, then they comment. And what, they said misogynistic or something? Yeah, like, like, what? Like, what? how does that... Oh, and like, you have to take the kids everywhere you go. And I'm like, I have to take the kids because the kids insist I take the kids. <laughs> <laughs> so, try again. So yes, yes, Misty, you're just in time for din din. What do you have for dinner? Oh, hey, Ray. <laughs> cuzzo, cuzzo. Hi, Tootsie. Um, okay, so that's probably good on pepperoni. We'll put pepperoni on the girls. We're gonna do the rectangle one. You had a a lay, a Leah. What? Hi guys. No. I did this by myself. No. What does it say? No. Oh, lean cuisine. All right. Doing it up the lean cuisine way. Hi. Hi. Why is your face all wet? Hi. She did it. Why did you get your face Hi. all wet? Why is your face all wet? Hi. <laughs> She's playing in the water. You need a towel to dry it off. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Zoe. Uh oh, we might run out of pepperoni. Oh no. I gotta start spreading them out a little bit more. <laughs> Down. Are your hands clean? Yes. Okay. But this is your pizza anyway, so still you want it to be clean. Yeah. Ooh, we're gonna have just enough. Just enough for the city. See, I have to sing in every video. Okay. You don't always have to sing in. I do. It's like a. It's like a must. No. 
I told Papa no, I made him put it back, so you don't get any either. Do you guys want sausage on your pizza? Yeah. You do? He doesn't want any. Well, sweets like sausage, so I'll put a little bit on there. Mama! What are you doing? All right, so sausage is on. We're gonna put some green peppers on ours. Do you guys want green peppers on yours? What's wrong? Okay, take it. No. Here. No. Okay. Um, you want black olives though, yeah? Yeah? Yes? Black olives? Yeah. Do you want olives on ours? Yes. Okay. Oh, so um, interesting little fun thing for us today. So the um, so Zara loves snails and slugs, and so over the summer she had collected a lot, and you know, and we'd release them and stuff. Well, the other day she collected four slugs and had them in a jar and she decided that the kitchen would be a great place on the island to have them and then Herschel this morning discovered a slug on the floor who had since passed and then when I got home I was like wait a minute I looked at the jar I'm like um there were four slugs in the jar and now there's only one So, her little slugs escaped, but they met their doom on the floor because there's a carpet down there, right underneath the island. So, yeah, I said no more slugs in the kitchen. <laughs> Here. Yes. Okay. Are you wearing my lipstick? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm wearing a lip balm. Mine? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. Boop. Olive juice. But I am excited for fall. I'm excited to... I usually decorate for Christmas because I love Christmas so much and love my decorations. I usually decorate right after Halloween so that I can maximize my time because I like to have all the decorations taken down uh, by the new year because otherwise it just, I feel like it just sits. What? Do you need help? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. You're welcome. Come on, Come on. All right, so I think pizzas are ready to get topped with cheese. Go ahead and do some more parmigiano. And then cheese. And the oven has already been on, preheating. So we're solid on that.
All right. So I think we have our pizza ready to go in the oven. What do you guys think? Have to finish working. Nice pizza break. We'll be by for dinner. JK. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna stick them in the oven now. Let's see, this I don't think will fit long ways. Oh, it will. They won't both fit on the top shelf. So, we'll stick this one on the bottom. And that one on top. All right. So it is 6.51. Clean this counter off. And throw all my trash away. Oops. Now I have Stevie Wonder's song stuck in my head. Living just enough, just enough for the city. All right, ta da! So I'm going to unplug and I can take you all in here. So yeah, I'm still getting tomatoes and then I got one little strawberry, but the tomatoes are still nice and juicy and sweet. Oh, so when I was at the store, I also got some more wine because I haven't had wine in a while. So, and then I got these little things. Um, looks great, thanks. Um, so I got these little things, and they're called buzz balls. And I had a coworker tell me about them. But this is a peach chiller, and it is 17% by volume. It's orange wine with orange juice, natural orange and peach flavors, and certified color. Mmm. Red dye number four never tasted so good. Um, but yeah, so, oh, and look at that. It says it's women owned and you're supposed to shake it. So I might give this a try. Should I do this now or should we wait? Hello? <laughs> You're not paying attention. I said, should we drink these now or should we wait? Uh, I was in there editing, so I had my You need to on. turn it down in there. Oh, sorry. Don't let Just it happen again. I mean, you don't have to drink it. I'll drink both of them. No. <laughs> You'd be passed out. <laughs> well, I thought I'd be good with the wine. Okay, so should we give this a try now? What do you think? 
Wine and cheese, yes, wine and cheese. I love cheese and I love wine. And then you put them together and they're just awesome. Okay, so we're gonna try this now. You know, for the sake of our YouTube. Do you wanna try it? I'll try it. Do you want your own or do you wanna try? I'll try yours. Well then I'll try yours too. <laughs> well, that's fine. I will not try it. So, I mean, I'm already drinking a beer. I was doing the, uh, the video, and so I hmm. finished. What does okay. it smell like? Like wine? Orange and peach? Well, Should we pour some in a. I kind of want to drink it out of this, though. Yeah, so, yeah, Buzz Balls Peach Chiller. Hey there. Ooh. <laughs> no, it's not sweet. <laughs> Ooh, they are not joking about the 17% by that alcohol. Like a, That's like a <laughs> It's like a sweet Jack Daniels shot. What do you mean? Ooh. Sorry, Ooh. What? Yeah, that remember, right there. What? Remember, remember this remember the movie that she said don't watch it? We didn't Good, because we're going to watch it tonight. Can you, can you pop up popcorn after dinner so we can watch it? I don't know about popping popcorn. I'm making pizza. Um, yeah, so this is... Okay, um, can we eat pizza this is really strong. Okay, I don't know, honey. Can we get can some you, frosty? No. Whoa. Can you guys go in the other room, please? No. <laughs> okay, Um. so I bought this at Winco. It's our... One of our grocery stores here. Um, so I would, girls, in the other room, please. I would just Google it. Um, buzz balls, B U Z Z B A L L Z, buzz balls. And there's no way I could do <laughs> two of those. I like mean, if you did two of those. You would be I haven't really taken hurt. another drink. It was I, just. I, I, <laughs> I went ahead and put the shirt on because I didn't want to be in a white tee. But I put the shirt on and I was like wobbling for a second. I'm like, man, that stuff's strong. Whew. You know what it reminds me of? It's like a cruise ship hurricane. Like a hurt, like you know, the drink hurricane. Ooh, it just goes like it's that. <laughs> it's that strong. Like it's. And I think it was like. Oh. It was like two. It tastes good. But it was like two ninety eight, so not bad. I mean, and it's. Um, if you wanted to pregame, just drink one. Oh one. yeah, for sure. If you're gonna pregame, this is one. all you need. Looks like it's a thin version of Nyquil. <laughs> it's like scissor. I don't even know what the. Um. um what the size of this is. Then say it on the front by the... No. Man. But they have other flavors. So they have, they had a, like a pina colada one. Ooh, they nice. had a lime arita. Ooh. They had a lemon, like a lemon drop kind of one. Ooh. I feel like they had a coffee one. I, I almost bought one on each flavor. Yeah, you should have. That would be a lethal video if we did a tasting. You of... could do a drinking game <laughs> and have those. Um, we'd probably pass out on that. I think this would be bad. fine with pizza. Like, this is... That with pizza? She said we'll go well with pizza. I mean, I'm going I'm to eat it with pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I think anything goes well with pizza. I also think anything goes well with... <laughs> Cheap booze too. <laughs> yeah. uh, did you take another drink? I, I've had two. Did you shake it? I did shake it. Okay. This guy on the side, shake it in big letters. Oh man. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, it's not sweet. I thought I was like, this is gonna be kind of sissy. <laughs> it's not no, sissy. <laughs> not at all. Orange wine with orange juice, natural juice. So, throughout time, I'm going to have to get more yeah. and try them out. 
Like I, I can feel like my legs. Go I feel warm. it in my toes now. <laughs> yeah, I feel it in my legs and my hip. My toes are warm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man, and I can I can take some pretty strong drinks, but that every time it's just powerful. Here's the um. So I don't know just if don't I'll need this. It. Yeah. This is the other the wine I got. <laughs> Ooh, a Patreon exclusive oh, video. Oh, a gookin' yes. Oh yeah. Good job. Yeah, a lot of folks give me good ideas because I'm like I don't know. I know. I know. I'm like that's a great one. That's that would be a well. That'd be a live. I still haven't figured out how you do a live stream with. Patreon, because you have to give them the link. Uh, yeah. So basically, Patreon, if you do videos, all of your videos are done through YouTube. Yeah. Or but, video or um, but you, it's the way you upload it is different. So they have to have that link to be able to access it. But yeah, man. So I've got time while the pizza is cooking. So if you guys have any questions. Yes, that big jug of wine was from Winco too. So it's a gallon. <laughs> Y'all know, uh, I mean, well, I certainly can appreciate too if people are not into alcohol for whatever their reason. Um, I fully understand that. But, I mean, you know, it's nice to kick back with a glass of wine. So, um, I really don't drink too much hard liquor anymore because I don't go out a whole lot anymore. But sometimes I do do tequila shots. Um, but I like to have a glass of wine. Um, sometimes I drink beer. Hershey makes beer or we get beer. and Sometimes I'll drink a beer. I have an idea. But I can sometimes go for like a month without having had a drink. This is what we can do. We go on dates. We could take, um, this one's not that sweet, really. Oh, she's asking about the wine. So um, hang on, I'll answer that. Uh, we could take a few of these and put it in your purse <laughs> and go into some of the bars that don't, uh, you know, whatever. And then, because a lot of times it takes a while to get from one bar to the other, just pop one of those and sip it and you're good. Yeah, because you couldn't put this in your pocket. No. It'd be like, <laughs> It'd be like why do you have a bulge? <laughs> why do you have a ball in your pocket? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Just... Yeah, but yeah, I will get like. I mean, I could stick it. No. In, in, the, in you, the boobs. The, it's so well, obvious. And then I have like a tri boob. <laughs> yeah, it's so obvious at that point. Like they're gonna, they're gonna be like, well, what's that? But yeah, seriously, you can put that in like a purse, like two or three or four of them. <laughs> well, you know, two a piece. And well, if it was two a piece, I don't think we would have to drink anything. I'm sorry, I can't not make that face. Yeah, it's it's pretty strong. It's pretty intense. Um, yeah, so I don't think I'm gonna need to crack open the wine, because <laughs> um, we also have another one because we've been sharing on this. Um, so yeah, the wine I got is there's another one too. It's Carlo Rossi, and I got the Moscato Sangria, um, and it's pretty sweet. I mean, it's a very light, um, crisp, pretty sweet wine. We also have this one. Someone's going to complain and say, well, it's all backwards there. And I Stop. Can't. Well, it's, that's what Stop. that's Stop. Don't it's, be mean. I'm just, it's don't all backwards. Be, don't and I'll be, be like, don't I can't help it. Don't be mean. So this, <laughs> this one's a turd. sweet, this was a sweet pineapple. So, okay. We haven't tried that one yet. This is Gallo Family Vineyard Sweet Pineapple. I mean, nothing fancy. How much do you think I paid for this? We're going to play a little game. Then we're going to play a little game with the uh, gallon. How much do you think I paid for the gallon of wine? That's a good question. How much do you think I paid for the gallon of wine? Well, you may know. Would you pay like $5.99 or something? And that's like $3.99? Okay, that's your guess. $3.99 and $5.99. You didn't even want to go. Oh, there's not much in there. I know. Man, I'm like <laughs> tingly all oh. over this. Man, it's just like a shock. <laughs> Every time. Normally with drinks, like after a while. Normally it's no it gets shock. better as you go there's on. It's no shock. It's just a shock. 35 for the gallon and 20 for the wine. Oh. Damn, they don't know me. They don't know that I'm cheap. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, no, I would not pay that much. You're gonna be shocked when I tell you what I paid. Also, I don't know if you guys have it, but here we pay a liquor tax. So you pay a tax for hard liquor. Uh, you're not you're not extra taxed on beer or wine, but on hard liquor you are. Um, so I wonder if I was hard taxed on this. I think I threw the receipt away already. Let me see if I can find it. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay. No. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I found it after I went digging in the trash first. <laughs> Let me check the pizza. Oh, buddy. Okay. So I um, found the receipt. Uh, $9.99 for the gallon. Okay. Um, Yeah, so I was not charged the liquor tax on this. Okay, so if there's no other guesses, um, so for this one, well, I didn't buy this one today, but this one was $2.98. This right here. They have other flavors. We've had peach and we've had strawberry, and this one is pineapple. Um, and this is great because it's the little screw top, so it saves well. Um, but yeah, so nice, very sweet, almost, well, not as bad as Boone's Farm. Um, but the peach was good too. And then the gallon was $10.88. So, and they have all, Carlo Rossi has all kinds. There's a, they have a Burgundy, they have a Chablis, Chablis, however you say it. Um, they have a Paisano, which is like a red, which I, is pretty good. Um, they have a red Sangria, um, the Moscato, this is the Moscato Sangria, so it's white. They have several different flavors, but yeah, all of those gallons there are $10.88. So I have learned to buy my wine at Winco. <laughs> um, yeah, Winco is kind of like, it's a, it's a, whew, it's hot now. Um, it's an employee owned company um, and it's kind of like a no frills. You can buy stuff in bulk-ish. Um, they have a really good like bulk food section, like a, um, oh, well, I'll show you because they don't know that I bought these yet, but I bought these, <laughs> um, chocolate covered raisins. Um, so yeah, they're like bulk oh, food. When I saw that on the, on the screen, I was like, <gasps> <laughs> I ran in here. I'm like, oh my goodness, those are amazing. Those are like chocolate covered raisins. Yeah, and that whole thing mm. for like six bucks, seven bucks. I saw that. I was like, <laughs> oh, um, my headphones down. So yeah, so sorry, I missed. Oh my gosh, there's a Winco like three cities away, but I'm going tomorrow. Yes, you got to do it. You got to stock up. Um, Winco, I think, is down in Oregon too which I feel like would be even better because then you're not paying tax. But I don't know if you pay liquor tax or not, but there's no sales tax in Oregon. So, um, but yeah, like super, super cheap. I'm not a fancy wine drinker. I don't need like a $35 bottle of wine. I mean, for me, it's just like, cool, this tastes good. If it tastes good, I'm in. Um, before kids, I used to be a uh, red wine drinker. I like, you know, got my palate to that sophisticated level. Um, you know, I think when I first started drinking wine, I started out at like White Zin, White Zinfandel. 
Um, and then I gradually, uh, you know, I was doing some Pinot Grigio and, you know, graduated my, my palate up and to where I was drinking. Um, I, Merlot was okay, but my favorite was a Shiraz or a Petite Syrah. Um, that was like, that was my wine jam. Um, and then once I started having kids and like I wasn't drinking, uh, I just, my palate has never, maybe like eventually like once I'm done, um, nursing and all of that and like drink wine on a more regular basis, um, I'll graduate my palate back up. But I will tell you, I am perfectly just fine and happy enjoying a Moscato. I love it. Um, a sparkling Moscato is even better. Another like cheaper wine um, that I think is really good is Barefoot Winery. So if you can find Barefoot Winery or Cupcake, um, those are some brands that are pretty good that I've enjoyed. All right, so I'm going to finish this one off. Buzz balls, y'all. Um, could be a little buzz bomb, too. But I do like it. It's, it's shaped like a little bomb. That's kind of cute. Um, so I'm going to check on the pizza. Okay. It's looking good, y'all. Um, but yes. Oh, and also, like, it's just... Winco is pretty cheap. Um, Winco is pretty cheap in general, uh, like just all of their prices and stuff. I got, uh, some ribs, I'm in the way of the refrigerator, but, um, yeah, I got some ribs and they're already seasoned with applewood seasoning. They're pork riblets. And it, this is about two and a half pounds, and so this was $4.27. So their prices are really, really decent. Um, sometimes it gets a little crazy because the crowds, but I was able to scoot in there, slide in right after work before it got too crazy. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll buy wine sometimes at the regular grocery store, like uh, our Fred Meyer, which is part of the Kroger company. Um, but I like going to Winco and getting my wine. Um, yeah. So new mommy, I would definitely hit up a Winco if you're able to. So, yeah. You know, that's another video I've never really done is like talk about like where we do our shopping. Um, I do some Costco stuff, but not on a regular basis. And most of the time it's at our Fred Meyer, which is part of the Kroger company. But our Fred Meyer is, uh, Fred Meyer is unique. It's kind of like a Walmart in that they have the grocery store, or if you're from the Midwest, um, uh, you know Meyer, M-E-I-J-E-R. Um, Way Gookin, you probably know that from being in Michigan. Meyer is my all-time favorite. And they have, like, everything. They have groceries and uh, garden and clothes and all of that stuff. Um, but Fred Meyer is similar to that. Um, but I mostly just get groceries there. Groceries and like household stuff like paper towels, toilet paper, stuff for the cats. But I don't, I don't know if I've ever bought clothes there. So anyway, um, your favorite wine is Stella Rosa. So it's about $10. Okay. I may have had that before. I don't know. Um, Meyer is my all-time favorite also. Yes. Every time we go, well, when we go back home to visit, I am like, oh, we have to go to a Meyer. Hi. What's going on? Mm -hmm. What happened? Mm -hmm. I can't, what? Mm -hmm. What? I, use your words. Sister? Did she do something? Oh. oh. So yes, the pizza should be done soon. New mommy, are you in Washington or are you in Oregon or do you have... Oh, Bob Evans. 
Bob Evans down on the farm. Yeah. Um, their Bob Evans rolls were bomb. And they had really good baked potato soup. And their banana bread was good also. Um, I used to eat at Bob Evans a lot with my parents. Yeah, we don't have that out here. Um, we don't have Cracker Barrel either. So, and I worked at Cracker Barrel for four years. But we don't have that here. What did you do to Zeta? Nothing. She said you guys did something. No, we were playing. Oh. Okay. Pizza's almost done. Okay. Okay. I guess I'll put this back up. <laughs> Oop, sorry, not to block you. Oh no. Yeah, we don't have Cracker Barrel. I actually don't know where the nearest Cracker Barrel is. Oh, this pizza is going to be bomb, y'all. tripod's not wanting to stand. What? Okay. It still needs to probably... Let's see, I put it in at 6.51. It's now 7.17. Uh, math is hard, so how long has it been in? Oh, no. <laughs> it's not because I'm burning the house down. No, they're very sensitive. It, they're very sensitive and the steam actually sets them off. Yeah. It happens a lot. But I'm not burning things. Burning the house. Here's your ticket, pack your bags, time for jumping over. You know I did that song in show choir, right? No. Yeah. I don't know anything else on that song other than that. Burning down the house. It's from the 80s, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Wagu can weigh like Smire. M-E-I-G. Yeah, Smire's yeah. amazing. And That's one store I wish we had here. I know. And they miss Bob oh, yeah. Evans, too. I like Bob Evans. Okay, sorry. Now the phone is all wonky because of Zara. <laughs> so I guess it's been in for about 25 minutes. We'll see. I might make a like a beef vegetable soup this weekend and use some of the veggies from the garden. Um, I'm trying to hold off on waiting because I know like there's gonna come that dreary time and I'm gonna want like fresh, that fresh vegetable taste. So, but also at the same time, I'm like, ooh, I really wanna make a soup with the vegetables. Um, but we'll see. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you guys have plans for the weekend? Yeah. 
I think I already asked you that. Oh, they'll um, probably eat these olives later, so let me get one now. Football. Who do you root for? I miss watching football. I don't... We don't have cable anymore, so we don't really watch football. Um, we used to love going to like a sports bar or whatever when we lived in Indiana. The Lions, oh, you're M go blue, huh? They're Michigander all the way. Um, we used to go when we lived in Indianapolis when it was just me and Hershey. And we used to go to a sports bar and stuff and get some beer, get some wings and watch a game. I used to like to go downtown to watch a game too. Cause all the energy, it was fun. But we don't really watch football anymore. I guess I'm a Seahawks fan. But I don't know. And I haven't really followed football much since Peyton Manning retired. Because when he, he actually moved to Denver the same year that we had moved to New Mexico. And so we were like, oh, cool. We'll now root for the Broncos. Pro teams are fun, but college games are sometimes better for families. I always hear that. I always hear that college football is better because that's where you get to see the talent versus NFL where the games are sometimes fixed. Okay, it's steamy. Probably going to go off again. Okay, I gotta make sure that the bottom got. Oh yeah, it feels like it got cooked, for sure. All right, so there's pizza number one. Nice and golden. Um, and then pizza number two, I'm gonna leave in just for a few more minutes. Or even hockey. College hockey doesn't allow any fighting and will cost a lot less to go to. Wow, you're hungry again. <laughs> um, all right, so we're gonna here. I'll let me see if I can get my tripod finagled. This is like perfectly cheesy, gooey awesomeness. I'm proud of this. Okay, sorry, the. I gotta screw this back on. So there's a little piece on the tripod that gets loose. that I've got to screw back tight. There we go. Sorry. Okay. You want me to uh, give you mine? No, I got it. It just got loose. Okay, I'm going to turn Whoa, the oven off. Huh? Is that pizza? Burnt? No, like this. Yeah. Okay, and there's, woo! Okay, I can feel it through the glove. Yeah. All right, so there's the other pizza. There we go. 
and we'll cut this. What's your, oh, so getting a sitter and going out to drink with a hubby. Haven't gone out in two years, so hopefully I don't get tired past nine. Oh, that's awesome. Well, have fun, because girl, I know it. <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna cut this down the middle. Enjoy your night out, live it up, and have fun. Oh yeah, it looks amazing. Yeah. Okay, you wanna get plates? Yeah. Oh yeah, and the crust is nice and cooked. Oh, you're going for regular plates? Oh, I'm just get paper plate. plates. Right. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, be careful. Yeah, it's hot. you don't want to burn yourself and then you end up dropping it. Okay. This is sweet sesame flavor. Okay, Sweets' plate is there. There we go. All right, so there is the girl's pizza. And then here is, ooh, look at that cheese action. Yes. This is Mama and Hershey's pizza. Yes. That cheese action was amazing. Look at that. Okay. All right, so I need to take Sweets's and I need to cut hers up a little bit more. Hey girl, open your book bag. So that she can eat it without issue. Because you guys like taste tests, um, hang on, I will, let me get a fork. Mama, when, when, when they're, when fries are cooked, I like them. Yeah? Yeah. All right, so here is a piece of our pizza. Gonna blow on it so I don't burn myself. It's hot. Very hot. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. You gonna try it? Blow on it first. Mm. 
That is bomb. <laughs> Amazing. Yes, homemade pizza, kind of for the win. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna actually let these sit though for a minute so that the girls is isn't so hot. And especially they Um, but yeah, so homemade pizza. Let me turn this on. Okay. Oh, sorry, there's disaster everywhere. Um, yes, so I'm very excited and looking forward to enjoying and feasting on this pizza. Um, yes, new mommy, enjoy your night out, have fun. Um, what's my favorite restaurant to eat at in Tacoma? Mmm. Oh, my pizza. I don't know if I have a favorite restaurant. We okay, so we actually. Oh yeah, maybe we actually don't go out a whole lot and like eat in the restaurants. So we usually do a lot of takeout because with kids it's just easier. Um, but Hershey and I went out um, on a to uh, there's a sushi place called the Koi, and that is phenomenal. And so um, they actually have a really cool happy hour, and it's runs from two to five o'clock, I think. And they have you can get three rolls for twenty five bucks, which sounds kind of pricey. Um, but we've all we've actually talked about some coworkers. We've talked about like doing like an early happy hour and like splitting it. Um, and the rolls are like good sized rolls. It's not like four little pieces, but they're really good sized rolls. And we had a really, really good dinner there. Um, the Matador actually has really good food too. Um, but other than that, I mean, most of our stuff is like pizza places and stuff like that that are more than likely chains. Um, we went to Zeke's Pizza. Zeke's is now down here in Tacoma. Um, and uh, yeah, it's funny. Mod Pizza, but that's funny? again a local yes. chain. Mod Pizza is cool because you can personalize your own pizza, and you can get as many toppings uh, that you want. Uh, I love pho. Herschel hates it. He says it's like eating perfume, <laughs> <laughs> which I don't understand that. Um, but I do love pho. But there's a pho place that's near campus. And I, we, uh, a colleague and I went there for lunch the other day, and we walked in, we sat down, and they had raised their prices. So it was like, for a small pho, it was like 10 bucks. And we both looked at each other and were like, mm-mm. So we walked out. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I, I enjoy a good bowl of pho. I, I do miss the pho place that was near campus when I worked up in Seattle. Um, pho Titi, I think, is where I used to go. But, yeah, I like a good bowl of pho. Um, oh, there's a, um, there's a good teriyaki place right down the street from us that we really like. And it's owned by a little Korean couple. Um, so I go in there and, um, talk it up with them and stuff. And their stuff is really good. So, um, that's good. I always get the combo plate when going to a pho restaurant. What's the combo plate? I've always only gotten pho when I've gone to a Vietnamese place. Well, I've gotten maybe spring rolls, um, but usually just pho. I, I'll get like um, one with like brisket. Um, I like that. There was a cool place up in Seattle where near our, uh, near our airport, near our apartment, <laughs> hits that buzz ball working. Um, near our apartment that had kid pho. And so they, it was basically like a small portion of noodles and chicken and no, none of the onions, none of the like garnishments or anything. And the kids loved that. Um, so that I, that was cool. But we haven't, we haven't gone for pho in a while. We need to go for pho. Um, it has egg roll, duck, pork, shrimp, and chicken with rice and veggies. All in the pho? You like it spicy. Yes. I love hoisin sauce 
and um, I usually put a lot of hoisin sauce. I like a lot of lime in mine. I like a lot of basil in mine. I add jalapeno just for the flavor of it, but I don't eat the jalapeno. And then I add a lot of sriracha. Sometimes the chili, uh, the chili sauce. But I really like pho when I like feel like I'm getting cold or trying to get over a cold. Um, I like going to get pho. It's just, it feels good. Makes your tummy warm inside. Makes my tumbly rather... Rumbly. <laughs> That's what Pooh Bear says. Um, so yeah. I think it's pizza time. Do you want to go get your pizza? Yeah. You guys can go sit and eat. Uh, Spices is the small, is the one that's cut up. Just be careful because it's going to be hot. It's not in pho. The meat is grilled and they plate it for you to eat with chopsticks. A lot of the pho places here use MSG. Don't a lot of the Asian cuisine places use MSG? But also, it's isn't it's MSG it's not that bad for you? I feel like I've seen that before too. I'm going to go get my pizza. You want your pizza? Wow. Okay, there's mine. There's Hershey's. Oh, I'm hungry. I will say that I really enjoy doing live streams with you guys because I like, I just like them. Excuse me, goodness. Okay. Nice. All right, so I picked my pizza up. Mmm. Yep. <laughs> we love the interaction from live stream. I do too. It's just fun. And what I really love is like when other people in the live stream are able to interact with one another like I love I love seeing that absolutely love seeing that so people will talk to one another um, and it's like that's been facilitated through us I love it I told you it's hot what'd you put in your hair I did it just water I put water in that jelly stuff mm. some of it I brushed it out a little bit water. Okay. Yeah, so this is awesome. Super cheesy. Ooh, and there's like the cheese on top, if you can see, got like, you know, roasted, car not caramelized, but like burnt. I love burnt cheese. Yeah, me too. That's the best. Burnt cheese is the best. All right. Mama, did you see this? Mama. Oh. Ooh, I love mushrooms on pizza too. Yeah, me too. Mhm. Mm you like mushrooms on pizza? Yeah. Oh. Remember, Mommy got it, and we said, "Can we have some?" <coughs> I actually was thinking about. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> Pizza. I actually was thinking about going to get stuff to make egg rolls and to make um, cabbage uh, beef soup this weekend. No, no. <coughs> but I don't know that that'll happen this weekend. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, cooking Korean is a, an extreme labor of love because the food is so labor intensive. <coughs> Bye. Bye. Um, yeah. yeah, it went off. The ingredients are cheap, but making it takes such a long time. There's so much prep and everything into it that goes into it. It was probably a squirrel. If there is a cat on our front porch and it didn't right. open the door, what would you do? I don't know. In Korea, they won't use MSG, <coughs> but places in the States that get a lot of military customers 
will use it. Some of those places will have English and Korean menu with the Korean menu being cheaper. Oh, I didn't know that. Good. You already told me that. Um, yeah, I didn't know that. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> I get all choked up. <coughs> you want to see a slice? Yeah, so this is what I've already <coughs> dived into. But... Lots of awesome cheesy goodness. So this has <coughs> pepperoni. Oh, excuse me. Thanks. Yeah. Has pepperoni, sausage, green pepper from our garden, and black olives and lots of cheese. I thought I'd give you the water since I'm very narcissistic and controlling. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then someone else said, oh, it, what did they say something about when we were doing Would You Rather? They said it was really awkward, uh, something. I'm like... What was awkward? Uh, I don't know. Like, some of the comments, like, that, you know, like, that we were saying, like, what would we rather? You know how I joke with you? It was rather awkward, and you're, it's the same person, I think. And I'm like... <laughs> I think it's so funny that like people have commentary on our relationship because like there's really nothing that could come between us like that's the one thing that I really value with him is that we have an extremely extremely strong relationship and it's always the same person like the one person that made the, the first comment was had a Asian thumbnail Mm -hmm. a female, but it was probably a white dude <laughs> that basically just had, because I mean, it just, sometimes that's typically what we get. This other one didn't have any oh. thumbnail, it just had what a, uh, <clears throat> mm. so I'm like, if you can't show your face, yeah. that says a lot. What I definitely can tell guys? that there's no what abuse in your know? home. I see it daily through work. Yes, yes, right? I mean, what movie are you I, um, I have... No, I'm not going to put up with that. <clears throat> um, and what movie are we watching tonight? I think we're going to watch A Wrinkle in Time. Yeah. Um, that's something that I've been wanting to see, and I've been wanting to watch it with the girls. So. And good thing we didn't watch it, and we watched a little bit today. I don't need that. We, we watched a little bit in the main cave. Mm-mm. Uh-huh. Mm-mm. Yeah. You better not have. <laughs> Just kidding. She was tricking you. Don't point out you were eating. <laughs> I told you not to watch it. We did it. You'll take it. the fun out of it. I also don't want you sitting there. Oh, and then this part, Mama, this is what happens. <laughs> well, we will. <laughs> Family time so frequently with your family. Yes. I'll tell you what happened in the beginning. There's time and it gets a wrinkle in it. You don't even know what it's about. Uh -huh. No, you uh -huh. don't. You better not have watched it. <laughs> wrinkle in time. Oh. Did they watch it? I have no idea. They better not have. She was a squid. Otherwise, no. If they did watch it, then I guess they can just go to bed. <laughs> okay. How do you like that? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but I think that's about it. I don't know if you guys have any any other questions. Dana, 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 dana. Zeta has just yum, fallen yum, asleep yum, yum, yum. on me now. So, there's that. But it's Friday, so I don't really care if I'm going to be up late. I can finish watching How to Get Away with Murder. We'll eat your cat earrings. 
I vote for Hersha Mancave. Yeah, he has four girls I'm all day. The He's eating in the man cave right now. <laughs> hmm? Yeah. We try to, um, it's a lot. We're a lot. I'm a lot. They're definitely a lot. And he's definitely an introvert. So we try to give him some time, some space. And then I also, stop. Mm -hmm. Then I also try to get some time with the girls, just me and them, because I feel like that's important too. <laughs> You're an angel with a halo, and the horns hold your halo up. Oh, look. <laughs> oh. Ow! What are you doing, Gangnam Style? No. Are you loser unicorns? Dance. No. Loser dance. What the heck is the loser dance? It's on, it's on, okay, Fortnite. How do you even know what Fortnite is? Because we watched it before. We were watching it. We were watching that. When you were supposed to not be watching YouTube? No, we were watching Nye and Ellie. Oh. Don't blame it on us. These kids. Good. <clears throat> um, sorry. Do it on sorry. YouTube. YouTube kids are anyway. I agree, yes. Um, and any more kids in the future? No. No. <laughs> I mean, there's always, I, I guess. I want no one else following me around. Don't forget to take a point off. But. Because we watch the computer. I got Not that siblings. we necessarily have planned. <laughs> huh? I got enough siblings. You have enough siblings? Which can do my work for me. That's why we had kids, so you do our work for us. <laughs> That's why you had those to, so they can do my work. No. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Nope. Mm -hmm. I we had them, so you do our work Mama. for us with them. Mama. B. B. C. B. Mm-hmm. Boots. B. Boots. B. Boots. Yep. Poor little Indy. He would love to have his own little man cave. <clears throat> All right, good night, Misty. Thanks for joining us. Hey, Have a great night. night. Misty. Oh, Andy you can me. see Sweets is down for the count. Andy hit me. Mama, Andy hit me. You're fine. Looks like this let, is me, my let me make sure. Okay, she girls, says can bye. you go eat, please? Yeah, she's down for the count. Until about, oh, 10 o'clock. Then she'll be up, ready to go. But it's okay. It's Friday. Um, but I think I am going to sign off here so that we can get settled in for the evening and get our movie going and um, have our time together. Um, maybe we'll see you guys in a live stream later this weekend. <clears throat> but uh, if not, you'll see us. I'll again see you guys soon. on another video. Take care. I'll see you guys on another video. See ya. And take care. So extra. All right. Um, I got a memo. <laughs> they didn't see it. Or a memo. Um, a memo. Zeta calls um, tomatoes memo. A memo. <laughs> so <clears throat> have a fantastic night. Happy Friday. We made it. And um, enjoy your evening. And you see you guys later. Bye, guys. See you. Take care. Why would I do Papa's? This is my sign off. That's his sign off. See you guys. Take care. <clears throat> do you want to sign off? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Until next time, I will see you. Take care. Bye, Good night, guys. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great night.